Hey, I'm meteorologist Segei Galindo, and this is The Breakdown. In this breakdown, we are talking about why your aches and pains really can help you predict the weather. A lot of times I run into people and they tell me, I know exactly when it's gonna rain or snow because I can feel it in my body. I feel those aches in my joints, or I'll get someone who asks me sometimes, why do I get a headache before it rains or while it's raining? And it's mostly about pressure change. You know, the pressure of the air surrounding us compared to that in our sinus cavities and in our inner ears. The differences between those is what causes pain. We get blood vessels that dilate abnormal blood flow to the brain. That's what causes our heads to pound, or at least some of us. Now, it's the same concept, the pressure changes and differences, like when you fly, you head to those high altitudes and you get your ears popping because the pressure is changing so rapidly as you fly. And it's usually a sudden change in pressure that causes the headaches or the aches in your body. It doesn't have to be a big change. A lot of times, think, well, the pressure's got to drop a certain millibars, but researchers really found that it could be just a small change in the pressure and uh, headaches increased by about 6%. So that's affecting quite a bit of us out there. Pressure changes weren't the for headaches specifically. Let's talk about some of the other things that affect it when people complain of headaches as it pertains to weather. Sudden increases in temperature or humidity, sudden drops in temperature or humidity, very high or low temperatures, or very high or low humidity levels, most storms, we know that as pressure changes, and systems that contain strong wind also had people complaining of headaches quite a bit or body aches and changes in altitude, which we just talked about when you fly, you get that popping of your ears. Or sometimes people can, of course, get headaches too. Low pressure usually produces clouds and rain. Now this is all about the aches in the joints. And when we get that low pressure producing clouds and rain, that causes a lot of moisture in the atmosphere and that can increase pain and stiffness. Low pressure and moisture changes uh, flow, changes the flow of the body fluids. So that's what causes those aches in your joints. Body fluids go from vessels to tissue. That causes swelling and pressure on the nerves. Increase in fluid in affected areas and that added pressure once again made people feel really achy in their joints. Hopefully this gives you some, some insight on how your aches and pains can help you tell the weather. Don't, don't forget we are streaming downs on WMCTV.com. You can also check